<laughs> now, something that has become uh, quite commonplace for us, phrases like load shedding, going off the grid, energy uh, saving have become common conversations for us as South Africans, I think. You know, as we become mindful of potential and new sources of energy and electricity supply. Now, with government investing billions and billions of rands into building new power plants, I think we're all still um, learning a bit more about nuclear energy and what it means to us as South Africans. Is nuclear energy the answer to South Africa's power needs? Recently, international nuclear energy consultant Michael Schneider shared his expertise with local stakeholders. The question is whether nuclear power is today an option, uh, can, can actually present an alternative to all the other options that exist to generate electricity. Access to electricity is no guarantee that you actually can afford it. So the options we have need to be affordable. They need to be sustainable, so they shouldn't have an impact on future generations, or as little as possible. 90% of the country's electricity is generated in coal-fired power stations, but they are projects employing wind turbines and solar sources of energy. There have been a lot of developments in the energy sector, especially with uh, solar uh, technologies and wind technologies, which have already been quite successfully installed in many parts of the country. And uh, given that we have so much sunshine, given that we have such a lot of uh, wind, I think that we should at least try and develop those first, then see afterwards if, if, if really the whole system cannot manage on that alone. Nuclear energy has many disadvantages. It's non-renewable, comes at a high cost, and there's a potential negative impact on the environment. Nuclear power is amongst the most expensive answers, and especially, it's the slowest. And that's one of the key problems with this technology. You can build, you know, solar systems in months. The question is, does it make sense to go the old way, trying to build huge power lines, huge power plants, and deliver electricity to people? Or does it make more sense to think about how you can increase the possibilities of passive solutions first? So I think we, we need to reassess what the focus is of energy policy, and that's cover energy service needs. Furthermore, nuclear reactors are dangerous, and disasters at both Chernobyl and Fukushima have shown how inadequately prepared humans are to deal with radioactive waste and accidents. The lessons that we uh, can take from those uh, two disasters at uh, Fukushima and earlier at Chernobyl uh, is that nuclear energy is not quite safe, although we must remember that these are just two of the uh, many power stations worldwide. In the years uh, leading up to now, there are continual improvements in the technology. Still, I guess we can never guarantee that something like that cannot happen again. And I suppose uh, there is always that very small risk that it could happen in South Africa. New technology is bringing newly built nuclear power stations close to being risk-free and the price of nuclear power may be more stable in the long run. It is true that a lot of the world at the moment is dependent on sources which are eventually going to run out. Especially in South Africa, we are heavily dependent on, on coal uh, for all our energy requirements. At the current rate, our coal reserves are going to go at some point in the future. It is true that nuclear energy doesn't have some of the constraints that, that coal has, but uh, at the moment it's still a bit more expensive and that's also why uh, most of the countries in the world uh, uh, seem to be going more towards the renewable energy sources rather, uh, uh, rather than nuclear. I believe that there's just far too much electricity wasted. A nice coherent program of trying to reduce energy consumption in this country, especially where it's not absolutely needed, I think should be our first priority. The future holds interesting developments in the energy race. And the question is when and how the whole country would embrace alternative energy sources.